Chloe, we're here at the Engineering Technology Group. What are we doing today? Well, we are here with Tevis and Goering, and we're going to do some machine coating trials to see how the uh, Goering diver tool works with uh, the Tevis program and seeing how we can push that tool to the limit. And it's the Bridgeport XR1000. Why did we select this machine? It's a brilliant machine to use. It's versatile, it's great. We're just using three axis machining, so perfect machine for the job. What's the specification? Okay, so you've got an axis travel of 1,020 by 610, 610. You've got a spindle speed of 12,000 RPM, and that's belt driven. You've got a tool changer of 30 tools, and then you can have an option of 48 tools. Uh, you've got a floor space of 3,250 by 3,000. You've got a working plane 1,200 by 600. That's quite efficient. It's a large machine and envelope for quite a small footprint. Yeah, it's quite a big machine, but you've got to get all that power out and you've got to get all that power into the tool, into the spindle, so you can get these cuts that we're doing today. I can see it's a Heidenheim control, but what control is it? So it's a Heidenheim 530, but you can have it as an option, so you can have the 640, 620, you can have Fanuc on there also. Dave, the machine is set, the demo is set, what are we going to see? Well, today, Joe, we're going to be running uh, a, one of our diver cutters. It's a cutter that we brought out uh, just over two years ago now and it's uh, certainly one of our most successful milling cutters that we've, we've launched over the past few years. Uh, we've got a situation where it's the, probably the perfect ideal tool for this job because we've got the, as, as this particular program is nearly all uh, roughing, you're able to use the same cutter where in, in the past you would normally use two or three different uh, styles of cutter so you're using this particular one now as a, as a good universal tool. What makes it so great at roughing? Well, you've got a situation there. You've got three different helix angles within the same, so it's a very stable cutter. It's got good flute spacing as well. And, and I think it really lends itself to this particular job because I believe that we're actually going to be running down 27 millimetre in one hit. So it's going to take it all the way from there and, and, and rough that, the part out completely. Also profiling, uh, circling interpolating, uh, tachoidal milling, and putting the whole lot together, and it's the, it's the ideal tool for doing that with. So. If we're looking to remove lots of metal, which we are today, the tool holder is equally as important. Very much so. Um, what we're using today is the uh, HPC milling cutter, uh, milling chuck, sorry. Um, it's specifically designed where it's actually going to be, uh, it's about 40% more clamping pressure than what you would get with a hydraulic chuck or, or the likes. Um, but it also gives you the benefit of being able to, to run very accurately. So where you're roughing, you put in a lot of forces, you apply, you apply those forces equally over the flutes of the tool rather than have something which could be offset and cause problems. Uh, and the other benefit, of course, is the fact that um, it is a universal one that you can use with different size collars, whatever, uh, within the range. And I presume this is balanced? Absolutely. Um, it's balanced on the side from there. You can see the actual balancing marks with it, the metal's been removed. Uh, so the, the balance is about 2.5 G, I believe. And if we're doing a different job where we've got deep pockets, you guys also offer shrink tooling? Absolutely, we do a full range of shrink fit, we do hydraulic, uh, hydraulic chucks, we do side lock holders, uh, we do our own specific uh, tapping head as well, which is uh, again a unique design to Guru. So there's a complete range of um, all in HSK, um, BT, DIN, um, and some in CAT as well. So all in all, it's a great combination. Yeah, certainly, Joe. Um, at the end of the day, you've got a component to machine. You've got a, a very good quality tool holder with a, a very good universal type tool that enables you to do a complete process, obviously on a, um, a good machine tool as well. Today we're going to be running a Tebis program, what's it going to be? Uh, so today we're showing our adaptive roofing technique which has been on the market for just over a year. Um, it's a tachoidal type technique which is basically um, going for the part at full depth at 27mm. Um, the material is steel and we need to basically show a reduction in sulphur time for our, our customers. And how do you do it? 
So basically, um, it's, it's our roughing technique. So within our roughing cycle, we have um, conventional roughing and adaptive roughing technique. So we can understand if you need to go over 20% or you can understand what depth of cut you need to do. You can also put the feeds and speeds, you can, you can reduce the feeds and speeds and you can do helix movements into roughing as well. Okay, so what are the advantages firstly on the cutting tool? So it's less pressure on the tool um, and also because we're going full depth, you'll get a, a decrease in cycle time. So you'll get a, a lot faster uh, components off the machine. And the process reli reliability? Yeah, the process reliability is, is constant because what we're doing inside Tebis is we use our full simulation package. So kinematics of the machine and collision checking of all the part and tool change and accurate cycle time of the part. So in, all that's integrated into Tebis, there's no third party software? No, we don't, we don't use uh, third party software. Basically, with our solution, we can come on site, we can scan the machine and we can build the machine. So it's an accurate rep representation of that machine. And we include uh, tool changes, we include uh, all the collision checking of the fixture, of the component and the tool. I do hear that quite a lot actually. Um, people, they go into their cam to get a cycle time and when they actually produce the part, it's nowhere near. No, no, that's because we include uh, tool change. We also include uh, acceleration and deacceleration with the machine. So we have standards that we incorporate into our virtual machine that we take off the machine tool vendor like ETG today. Your shirt says you're the CAD CAM experts, are you? Of course we are, yes. Thank <laughs> you.